Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Crusader Kings 3 with the Prince of Darkness mod. And we are currently embracing Anthony Padua here, our first child. And um, he's going to be our chaplain because he's got a great learning and our chaplain currently is absolutely terrible. And also, last episode I didn't find the truces because I always forget where they are. And they're right here. They're so easy to find. And I keep forgetting where they are. But it's going to be four years until we can declare on Emilia. Which is going to make us a duke once we can take it. If we can take it. But I think we can. Because we did we did defeat them when they had more land. So I don't think that's going to be a big problem. So let's go and find some mortals. Because we're currently not getting any more people in our herd. And I want to grow our herd. Oh, and... Another thing, there's a bunch of stuff I forgot to do last time. Uh, I think it's this guy. Yeah, he's a human. Yeah, a gross as mortal. And it feels bad to have a mortal in our champion pool. So we are going to make you a ghoul. That's not gonna interfere with our embracement, right? No, it's the same as Sway, I guess. Good. And, uh, right, we should marry some people as well. I mean, it's not gonna give us any alliances, because we can't really marry people with with land, with our unlanded champions. But we can get people to come over here and be champions. Because if they are unlanded, I think they will join our court because they married someone that is in our court if they are not in a court. Yeah, they're just in Malta. They're in, not in a court. Good. And he's a Ventru. That's not a problem for us. So let's send a proposal. Pretty sure that will make him come over here. And there's mortal and mortal and mortal. Oh, we have so many mortals. Ah, there's our ghoul. Because we want our ghouls to produce some revenants. Which is, uh, revenants are, are uh, ghouls that are, or people that are born from ghouls that has ghoul blood in them. Which makes them like super ghouls, better ghouls. And, oh, I don't want vampires. Because um, I actually want them to be able to have children. So let's do it by age. And find, so find some virile young 18 year old. Or just a virile... Oh well, yeah, that's what I said. 18 year old. He's intelligent, which is congenital. Which is kind of what we want if we're breeding ghouls. And anyone else around this age? This guy is also intelligent. I think he's got better stats, actually. Yeah, let's go with that guy. He's unlanded, right? He is in a court, though. So maybe we try... Oh, change from age. Maybe we try the other guy. See if he... Okay, come on. This is a long-ass list. No, oh, that's... That's the guy we already checked. And... See, this guy... He's also in a court. But, I mean, actually, he doesn't need to be over here. He just needs to bang his wife from time to time. And he doesn't have any... Any... Whatchamacallit? Any titles. So... She won't leave. Is there anything else? So I'm turning him to, to a... To a ghoul as we speak, actually. Since we are... No, wait. That's someone else. This this is Anthony. We're <laughs> we're uh, embracing him. This is my champion that we're turning into a ghoul, right? Yeah, Bernabo Piga. So let's marry him off as well, with some young lady, preferably with some good traits. Let's see. Do we have any any geniuses? We have an intelligent here. That's pretty good. 
She will accept. She is at Count Alexander's court. Okay. Ooh, giants. Oh, but you're... Wait, what? Um... This person is 948 years old. Apparently a giant. But he's also mortal. I don't know how that is possible. <laughs> Did we just find the oldest person ever to live? Um, there's no chance for children. Maybe because this person is obviously dead. Um... So that's interesting. Oh, and this person is a genius. Is this also a human or a mortal? No, um, that's how it seems. Yeah, that's a mortal. Okay, so this is either a bug or uh, they are some kind of superhuman. Let's rank by age. And let's see. Robust is pretty good. Gives bonus prowess. And I think I'm happy with robust, actually. Because, I mean, ghouls are good at fighting. Oh, actually, see, she's our steward. We'll marry her up to someone else. And... Your hail. Hail is... Lame. Let's marry you off to that lady in Alexander's court. He's just a count and um, as long as we do a patrilineal then we should get the kids I guess. Yeah so let's send that proposal and we had a hail person as well. Yeah you. guess we can marry you off. Try to get some good traits on our humans how about you you're unlanded in uh, she's some person but it doesn't matter we just want the babies and we go matrilineal that's perfect Send. okay let's hurry this up okay that's fine new blood so we want to herdify some people and I wish there was some way we could see what kind of like humors or phlegm or whatever we call it and uh, pretty sure there's no way to tell so we'll just we'll pick you and herdify so if there is a way please tell me because I would love to know Oh, and yeah, she's the one we're herdifying, so let's hunt you. And does this interrupt any of ours? Wait. That interrupted our ghoulifications. Yeah, so herding and uh, ghouling is the same thing. So is hunt? No, okay. Hunt is different. And it's different from embracing. Good. But ghouling and herding is the same. I'm just gonna check that they're still in our court now. <laughs> oh, and... Great. He came as well. Because he's the Ventru we married one of our vampires up to. Well, her. So he's a great champion to have. So now this guy is our worst, but I mean, I'd rather have him as a ghoul. Oh. 10th November 1232. Okay. You know what? Fine. We'll finish this, uh, this uh, herd scheme. Then we'll ghoul him. Oh. Noble born connections. Can recruit elite swordsmen as men at arms and unlocks special men at arms and second tier special building. Okay. Don't know what that building is, but that's fine. Oh, speaking of buildings, we should. Oh, we can get the duchy building. 
Oh, that's only prestige. Oh, heck yeah. Garrison, levies, tax, development growth, and prestige and renown. Heck yeah. I We should have gotten that way earlier. Is there anyone else that we can do that with? No, and no. Okay, well, I'm glad I checked that. Let's actually, we can start having a look at what's available. A lordly manor. That's pretty good. Get some extra prestige, get some direct vassal opinion and vassal contributions. That's pretty good. It's pretty expensive, but it's pretty good. Blood tax to just suck this county dry. Meh. I mean, I I like my development. So I'm not a fan of those. And I mean, they're all pretty expensive and we need we need our money. Open rule. This is just prestige. We get control growth. Some extra prestige. Gain dread. Question is how long we're going to hold this. Because this would be a thousand months before it paid off what we paid for this. We do get some control, but we are at a hundred, so... I'm not sure this is a... Um, a good investment. Because a thousand months... Is about... Well, rounded to nearest... Like... Ten. Is a hundred years. That is very rounded, though. So, I don't think that's worth it. Maybe one of the upgrades are, but... Yeah, let's just let's let these tick. We've spent a lot of time past in this episode, so let's just leave let some time pass. The embrace. I have orchestrated events so that Anthony of Padua has fallen within my clutches. In a secluded place, he will not be able to escape. I shall grant immortality, even if it means his damnation. Oh, shall I grant immortality, even if it means his damnation? Will he be grateful, or will he resent me forever? Did my sire have these thoughts? I don't care. Embrace him. And it's going to cost us some piety, but that's fine. We get quite a lot of piety. And uh, we can anger the masquerade, but that's fine. Get phlegmatic. Bad experience, because we want melancholic, right? Um, yeah, melancholic. Don't know why I had such a problem finding that. So, we've tracked our prey. We can... And we get sanguine from her. Oh, we get 25, whatever whatever we do, and we have to kill her to get be satiated. And I mean, hunger 1 is fine. It's just 5%. So, 10% for a masquerade hit? Nah. Let's just have a sip. We get the same amount of, of experience anyway. Let's just have a sip. She joins my herd. Good. Let's have this paused. Let's give, have a look at our herd first. So she's new. What will she give us? Phlegmatic. That is the wrong one, but we'll take it. I mean, we'll, we'll just keep taking blood whenever we can, and we'll, we might get some phlegmatic skills. Or is there anything in phlegmatic that we can actually get? Oh, I don't think so. Because I think we have to have started this before we can take any of them. Yeah, so we wouldn't be able to put anything here until we actually change our lifestyle. So we're getting a lot of choleric and phlegmatic now. We need melancholic. We're not getting a lot of melancholic. We're only getting 10 per month and um, we haven't got any in our herd for that. Um, optimally, we would have everyone in our herd be, be melancholic, but I don't know how to tell that. I can only see when we actually try to drain them what kind of uh, what kind of substance they have in their blood, so to say. Okay. So your new child has taken to his first tentative step into the night. Now experience, is experienced enough uh, to understand how to feed. It is soon time to begin a formal education, which will be very important for his future, but also for your relationship. What will your approach be? So I, I always figure the the education to be like a 80s montage so it's just like some 80s rock rock music 
uh, while we do some vampiric esque things while we train him, like like Live to Win from Salt Park. Well, I know the song isn't from Salt Park, but that's that's where my mind goes when I think montage, because Live to Win is such a good montage song. Um, yeah, so I I always think that's funny to imagine them doing vampire stuff to Live to Win while teaching him how to how to vampire. But um, the actual question. Um, we don't want him to be like a mindless thrall because that could impact his uh, his attributes and we want him to be in tip-top shape and we don't want him to become a rival which I think is a higher chance here and this is a higher chance of uh, like crushing him I think this gets some chance for both of them but also lower chance to get good stuff I guess maybe I don't know I don't know the exact kinds of uh, events that happens, but I think we go balanced because I don't want to have him to be a mindless thrall, but I also don't want to be his rival. We want him to be a loyal chaplain. So let's see what we get. Human ties. Actually, are you embraced? You are. So we can actually already put you in as our court chaplain put that away for now because he's terrible and I mean he doesn't have anything he doesn't even have any champions so we are gonna fire him oh we already clicked that and put Anthony in there because he's gonna be an amazing chaplain and we are going to actually we can start fabricating in a sec your child is still human ties friends and family and such as for the most as for most young vampires, it's very difficult for him to let go. Obviously, you know better, and these feelings are better kept under wraps. As the masquerade is endangered by rash actions around morals, and you often make ra rash actions with your loved ones. Perhaps it is time your child learned to let go of the past. So we can cover up and let the youth, ha let the youth have their dreams. So that will... Will cost us some masquerade, but he'll he'll get to hang out with some of his family, or we'll lose. Whoa, hundred opinion for twenty five years. Nah, man, let's just take the masquerade hit. Um, let's see what what will this cost? This will be a lot of stress. How dare they threaten us? Indeed, twenty eight percent. That it will increase. Okay, so we only have the kill them options. Really? Man, that is... I guess that's because... Of... But we have Dominate. I thought Dominate was... Um, one of the options on how to handle Masquerades. So just dominate them. And would pay... Like, thirst for it. I guess not. So I guess we'll kill them. And that will cause a lot of stress. And a slight chance that we'll be exposed. But a pretty good chance of uh, not being exposed and actually reducing it. But also 40%. This doesn't go... T this doesn't pan out. Okay. Um, sure, 40% of nothing. Well, this almost adds up to 100. So whatever. Cover up. And uh, we got one. That's good. We got a lot of stress though, but that's fine. It's actually kind of okay to get up to stress level one because then we usually get a trait, which means we can that we can use often to blow off some steam. So level one isn't too bad. It's when you get higher up that it starts getting real bad. Matters of faith. Oh, speaking of stress. So far, your child has followed your faith mostly because you said so. Obviously, though, he is far from understanding the inner workings of the beast and how to deal with it. You will have to take some time to start this this part of the teaching, or hire some learned practitioners of the road to help your progeny along. So, we can get a lot of piety and get some stress, but, I mean, it's not that bad. We'll get a way to reduce it again, so it's not, not a big deal. Or we can pay a bunch of money that we don't have. I rather don't get into debt right now. Uh, so I think because I mean we're not gonna be able to pay all this back before the actually 
three years, that's uh, ish, a hundred gold. So I guess we can. But I'd rather not. I don't think the stress is that big a deal. And we get a bunch of piety and piety is good. So let's do it. Mental break. Dark thoughts. And guilt and shame have been plaguing me as of late. All of my sins, my flaws, my failing. These dark... Um, these dark thoughts distract me from responsibilities and keep me awake at night. I feel like I must do something to put an end to this mental anguish, but what could I pos what could possibly help? So we can become contrite. Uh, oh, that that exposes our secrets. I don't want that. Or we become a drunkard, which I think is. Lowering a bunch of our stats. Hmm. I mean, the prowess isn't that big a deal. I do want our uh, stewardship. Because that gives us more holdings. Actually, yeah. Our stewardship gives plus one. I don't know the breakpoints. Every eight points. Actually, that doesn't really matter, matter then. You can't become a drunkard. Although it doesn't really fit... Fit thematically because I mean we are we are a vampire we don't really drink alcohol which I guess drunkard would be and this will give us more stress that might put us to level two so that's annoying hmm I don't want to be a drunkard I was hoping we got like irritable or or something like that. I guess drunkard is fine. And we can go drink, but I mean, we can like play it off, role play that we go and drink too much blood. We just we just gorge ourselves. I think that fits kind of. We're not drinking alcohol, we're drinking blood. We're going around killing too many people and drinking too much blood. Let's go for that. So, that gives us indulgent drink, which spends our prestige for stress. Let's do it though, so we go below one. We do have a lot of prestige, so... Let's go drink all of the blood. Good, and we... We're gonna find a way to get prestige, but for now that's fine. Your child has easily adopted your own tenets as his faith. Good. You are pleased by the progress shown so far and expect nothing more than a continued improvement as a successful teacher. You also attain a deeper understanding thanks to this shared experience. Good. Oh, we gained a bunch of piety. Uh, we can't choose like education. Oh, we can actually. Oh wait, that is. We can make him educate someone. But we did get a courtier that's, that needs education. So I guess he'll take care of that little child. And we got a bunch of piety. Oh, now we, we leveled up faith. So we can actually... I think we can holy war for duchies now. It is time for your child to be formally presented to the, to the court. Or is it? Or it is? Yeah, I think that should be flip. This traditional part of canine society is fraught with both opportunities and dangers, as your courtiers and vassals will certainly look for any weakness worth exploiting in your new protege. You could skip the whole affair, but that won't reflect well on you. So, yeah. I think he'll do fine. Behave yourself in there. So, with Drunkard, we're still at domain number three, which is good. And, uh, I mean, this is fine. Our prowess was never going to be good anyway, so. So it's fine. And it gives us the option to use prestige to lower stress, so. So, during your child's first introduction to the court, a small number of your vassals around arrived with generous gifts. For your progeny, not for you. They're obviously trying to create a rift between you two by making you claim the gift for yourself. A not-so-subtle plot, but... Still enticing by its share value. <laughs> Ooh, that is a lot of gold. And, 
I mean, he's still happy with us. He's got a seat on the council. He's got a bunch of pluses. Conviction fellows and control and we... I think this is my money. I deserve this money. And we need we need to make a duchy. And it's I mean it's gonna go away. It goes away with 1.2 per year, so that's fine. Wait, was that per year or month? That should be per month, right? Oh, that's that's slow. You've done what you could. Your child has learned the ways of your condition. The method is uh, the me method to use to control the beast, and even how to approach the clans and their subtleties. Perhaps it will suffice, or perhaps you have created the most dangerous foe you will ever face. Time will tell, as it always does. Good. And he is hanging out as our chaplet. And uh, we're gonna wait to marry him off. He can be married, I think. Yeah, because he is the same religion as us. But I figured we can marry him off for a uh, alliance. But we'd have to give him a title for that. And I can't make him a count, because then he'll be the same level as us, and I think he'll be independent in that case. Oh, and actually, start claiming... What is good to claim? How about you? Ooh, that's a lot of tax. That's a good one. And what county? Oh, it's in Verona. Because we can't really fight the... Um, Giovanni for it, because if we, if we, whatchamacallit, if we fabricate here, we might get the claim on the entire duchy, which is why I kind of want to do it on one of these instead then. And uh, we wanna, want it to be contigu contiguous. 1.4 isn't great. Wait, that's not, there's the, ooh, 2.4, that's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure this guy wasn't too strong. Oh, actually, he is strong. But I think we can match him. Yeah, they're similar to ours, and we have allies. Yeah. So I think we can take it, actually. Where was it? There. We can... Yeah, let's get a claim here. We might be able to claim the entire duchy, which would be huge. So yeah, let's go for that. And uh, now we just wait for this to finish as well. Of all the buffoonery I have ever seen, in Felicia's inane efforts to improve my relation with my neighbor, my god good for nothing chancellor has officially acknowledged Count Malarno, the Assassi, claim to County of Mantua. Who the hell are you? Okay, so the Count of Luca, no? Wait. Okay, so I guess he is in Luca. But he is Count of Bologna. Okay, well, he's not that strong. I'm not too worried. Scheme at court. My spy master has come to me with grave news. Well, we do not know yet know who. Someone has plotted to kill my courtier Camilla. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care about that. I mean, it's not like she was important. And do we actually have anyone better? We, oh, right. Oh, but this guy, the vampire we invited. Let's get rid of this worthless person. Because she is human or mortal. I should, she's mortal, not human. Everyone is human. We just happen to be vampires as well. So let's wait for that. Uh, your dynasty has unlocked Behold Our Deeds. Vassal Opinion. Oh, that's pretty good. Plus 20. Unlocks a special decision to invite Ashen Prospects and third tier of special building. And uh, invite special Ashen Prospect. What the? What is that? I my cat is going nuts. Okay, so I don't know what that is. I don't know how to do that. Oh, actually, maybe it's here. Yeah, there it is. It's very expensive. The first method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler is to look at the men he has surrounding him. 
A wise prince keeps those who would serve him with loyalty, strength and conviction close, and reward them as well. Three potential minions arrive at your court, ready to curry favor. Huh. That is very expensive. Oh, and we finished the principal town. That helped our money. It gives us levies. And was there anything we wanted to do? We kind of need something to generate prestige, but a lot of these cost prestige. This lowers prestige. There's a lot of stuff that lowers prestige. This increases, but this is incredibly expensive. It's pretty alright though, but you gotta have a lot of money for that. So let's just keep going. Oh, we should. First of all, we're gonna ghoulify someone. And I've forgotten about it. Um, I think he is one of our champions. So let's ghoulify you. It's gonna be fine. And uh, we can't hurtify someone while we're ghouling someone. So, I think we'll just let that be. And, uh, oh, there's some fighting in Courts of Love. How are you doing? You're also fighting something. Oh, that's internal, I guess. Yeah. Oh, your dynasty has unlocked knightly com commanderies. So, hey, knight's advantage. And unlock special buildings. I wish they said what special buildings they unlock. Come on. I hate that you just have to find out. Just tell me what building I unlocked. Greetings, father. I have prowled through the documents both ancient and less certain, less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the county Cremona. All missing is one little bribe. Okay, so... Only the county. We can... Um, we can turn it down. And just start over. Because then we can maybe get to the duchy claim. And I think we will. We're, we're in no rush to... To uh, start a war over here, I would first of all like to do this. Oh, and they're losing some war. Oh, they're fighting Bohemia. And you have gotten some allies. Okay, it's fine. Okay, they're not incredibly strong. Let's see. Yeah, we're still stronger. Oh, and did our wife get a bunch of wolves? Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, she got a bunch of wolves. That's awesome. Oh, uh, actually, let's change the, the map type. So, let's just speed through. Loyal Retainer. After careful preparation and planning, you were able to recruit this model as your ghoul thrall. Perfect. So let's make him a ghoul. Have a look. He, did he not get potents? That is terrible. Okay. Well, maybe he'll make some uh, revenants for us. And let's see. January of... There. Was that our... That is our truce. So... Can do for the duchy, because then I think we'll get the duchy title. Or we do for county, and then we'll have to pay some money. We'll get prestige for creating the title. I think that's how it works. So, I think we'll just take the fight for the duchy, right? So, let's declare it. Invite our wife. Oof, we can't afford it actually. Well, I guess we'll have to go negative. That's fine. And I think we're gonna put a cut in there and uh, we'll, we'll become a duke in the next episode. 
So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!